Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to Amazon SageMaker Studio Lab. This is a way to access free GPU resources online. I previously showed Lightning AI in some videos where you get 22 free GPU hours per month, or actually you get 15 credits or $15 worth of credits and uh, on the lowest tier GPU that equals 22 free hours. For SageMaker, I think you get four hours of GPU resources, but if you run out of credits on Lightning AI, I think that four hours is also renewing. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's maybe even four hours per day. So that's actually quite nice. And you get also three hours for CPU. So if you don't have an account, just press on request account, fill in your details. And at least for me, I did it in the evening and in the morning, I already had an email with the possibility to, to actually create the account and, and log in. Since I already have the login, I'll just sign in. You do get these annoying prompts to click all the hats. So it says you can use GPU for four hours at a time with a limit of four hours in a 24 hour period. And for CPU, you get eight hours per 24 hours. So if we switch to GPU, then we can press on start runtime. So that took a few seconds or maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds or something like that. Then you can press on open project. And in here you get a Jupyter notebook, which gives you some instructions. You do get 15 gigabytes of persistent storage, which is nice. And in these Jupyter notebooks, you can run Python code. Just uh, click shift enter to run this code. It prints out the results here. So this getting started notebook also shows you that you can access the terminal. So by pressing the plus button, you can access the terminal here and you can do notebooks. It's also instructing about the installation. So use this notation for conda and pip installations and it's saying not to use the exclamation point because this can behave in unexpected ways. Again, if you want to run this, just shift and enter. And it's installing Nym NymP uh, library. And after that installation, then you can use it. So now when that package is installed, we can run this example code here, importing the library and then running a random number generator. It's also instructing that you can switch between GPU and CPU, just save what you were doing and then navigate back to the project overview page. And then you can switch. So I think it means going back here and then you can switch to CPU or GPU. It also instructs about using example notebooks and also you can use hugging face. So so there's a clone button here, which would clone something from the from hugging face. So let's let's see what we get. Okay, so it seems it got us a bunch of notebooks, and um, if you go here, they are different getting started notebooks. So here's one for. For PyTorch, mm, select preferred kernel. Okay, let's use that. So let's just run through this notebook. So we are doing the installation first. Okay, actually, this one was a quite long one. 
There's some pre-processing, tokenization, uploading data to SageMaker session, bucket fine tuning and training, creating an estimator and starting a training job, deploying the endpoint. So, yeah, but the good part about all of these notebooks is that they have actually been built for this environment. So you should be able to run through them and learn how to use AI tools via notebooks and learn a lot about AI using this approach. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.